Hello to all. Today in this lecture, I'll teach you about the num uh, how to find the square root by using tens and unit digit method. Tens and unit digit method. This method is basically helpful for a four di for four digit, three digit, four digit, five digit number. Now, before telling you about this method, you have to remember one thing that if any number which is ending with 1 or 9 in its square, the unit digit will be 1. A number ending with 2, 2 and 8, uh, the unit digit will be 4. Number ending with 3 and 7, the unit digit will be 9. The number ending with 4 and 6, the unit digit will be 6 and number ending with 5 and uh, so when we find the square then the unit digit will be 5. So the opposite case will be if any square number if any square number whose which is ending with 1 will may have a unit digit 1 or 9 need not show that maybe 1 may be 9. Similarly in square number if the unit digit is 4 so if we find the square root the unit digit will be 2 or 8 and if a square number ending with 9, the unit digit will be 3 or 7. If a number ending with 6, the in a square root of a number, unit digit will be maybe 4, maybe 6. And for 5, it is sure that if it is a square number, so the, uh, in square root, the number will come as a 5. Now, I'll take one example. Uh, the number is, I'm taking 1936. This is a, a perfect square number. Now we have to find the square root of this number. Main thing is this from right side we will make a pair of two digit. Only two digit pair. Rest as many digits are left. Two or three will make a pair of that another. Now for unit digit. For unit digit. Uh, we have unit digit in square number in square number is 6 therefore unit digit in square root is either 4 or 6 you can't be sure unless and until it is a small number and you remember the square of a number you are not sure that either 4 will come in a square root at a unit digit or 6 will come. Now, for tens digit, the digit which will come at tens place in square root for that. For tens digit, we have to find the highest square number but smaller than 19. If we talk about square number below, be, uh, below 19, we have a 1, we have a 4, we have a 9, we have a 16, and we have a 25. No, 25 is a bigger than 19th. So we will remove this 25. Now, highest but smaller than 19 is what? That is 16. But 16 is a square of 4. So for tens digit, we'll write square of 4 is equal to 16 is less than 19. So therefore, uh, tens digit. Uh, therefore, tens, tens digit is 4 and uh, now, therefore, square root, square root of 19, 1936 is either 44, see tens digit, tens digit has come 4, unit digit is either 4 or 6, so either 44 or 46, we are not sure about this one, now, Please remember, between 44 and 46, a number comes 45. A number comes 45. The number ending with 5. And you people know how to find the square of a number ending with 5 by using shortcut method. So, square of 45. Square of 45 is 5 5 is a 25. And 4 is multiplied by its successor. So 4 5 is a 
20. So it means the square of 45 is 2200. Two, sorry, 2025. Now the given number is 1936, which is smaller than this number. So as this is smaller, 1936 is smaller than this number. So but obvious, this is a square of a smaller number, which is uh, less than 45. So that is 44. So therefore, square root of 1936 is 44. Now, let's take one more example. A square number that is 3969. 3969. Now, this is square number. This is a square number. So, this number is ending with 9. So, in the square root of this number, either we will get 3 or we will get 7. Now, let's start. Same step. From right side, we'll take a pair, make a pair of two digits and as many uh, digits are left, that is a second pair. Now, first of all, we'll talk about unit digit. So, for unit digit, unit digit, uh, unit digit in square, unit digit in square number is 9. So therefore, unit digit in square root is either 3 or 7. 3, 3 is a 9, 7 is a 49, so again 9 will come. Now, for tens place, for tens place, the, now we have to see the other pair, which is 39. Below 39, the highest square number is that is 36 fine that's why i told you to learn the square of a number at least till 30 but minimum 20 you should know for so that uh, this calculation will be easy for you now this is 39 the highest square number is 36 which is a square of 6 so for tens place the square of a 6 is equal to 36 which is less than 39 Therefore, square root would the square root can be either this is a tens digit 6, 63, or 67. For uh, tens digit, the second pair which we have taken, we have to take the square root of this number. The square root of 36 is 6. So tens digit will be 6. So either 6, 3, 63, or 6, 7. 67 again between this 63 and 67 we have a number 65 we always have to take the number ending with 5 so that is 65 now square of 65 now square of 65 is 5 5 is a 25 and 6 we have to multiply it by its successor so 6 7 is a 42 so this is 4225 now you can see the square number which is given to us and the square of 65 so this is small this is greater 4225 is greater than 3969 so it means this is a square of a number which is smaller than 65 because the number is smaller so the square of that also be smaller so therefore uh, if we write this is a sign of square root, square root of 3, 9, 6, 9 is 63. That is the answer. Uh, you may put a sign of equal to, that is the answer.